welcome back to another pick a card so in this video what we're going to do is what does your future self most want you to know right now when i say your future self because obviously you have future lives and all of that i just mean future self in this lifetime okay just so we're clear on that just before we pull the piles i channeled or I didn't channel i basically did that random thing of shuffling and seeing what was the general overall kind of like vibe feeling for everybody's future self to do with this and did it through a song and this is the song that we got so just to follow you down so the thing about this song is wait let me just think because so many things come up for me when I hear this song because actually when this song I used to play this song loads when I, when I was going through a huge transition when I was just about to let go of everything pretty much in my life and I'd created some nice stuff and like got you know all of these nice things that you would like etc got a nice flat liked all my stuff and I decided to completely just go on this new direction of stepping into doing all this psychic stuff and I remember listening to all of this like a few days before I was literally going to lose my flat with everything in it and it was intense but for some reason it's got a little bit in the middle something like hold my hand and follow me down and I was just like it literally felt like my future self was saying that to me like go for it this will all work out in the end but it won't be a straightforward ride so that's the kind of vibe i'm getting here also for some reason whenever i hear this song i think it's got like a real kind of like a little bit like grimy like sexual vibe and always makes me think of pole dancing and strip clubs and i can't even tell you why it just totally does but i really like the vibe of it as well it's like really it's like just really i don't know just like sexual i think but in like a um sexual in terms of like a freedom point within you where you just don't give a fuck and you're going to do what you want so anyway let's put that together with the rest of whatever comes up but i'll leave a link below so you can listen to that song if you'd like so we're going to choose three piles so what does your future self most want you to know right now let's see so i don't know why let's make it all random because sometimes why not Okay, so pile one is this one. Pile two is this one. And pile three is this one. Okay. So just usually go with your first intuitive response. So it bypasses your conscious mind. And let's go straight on to pile number one. So hi guys, this is for everybody who chose pile number one as having the information from that your future self most wants you to know right now. So let's just have a little bit of a channel beginning with. <clears throat> okay, so instantly what I feel into when I feel into this card and just this pile in general and the collective energy of your future selves, this is all about fractal patterns within yourself and essentially repeat scenarios that are reoccurring for you basically to simplify them and nail them in a way that you create a completely new reality and are no longer in that same kind of fractal pattern if that kind of makes sense and if you don't know what a fractal is um, have a look on the internet it's basically like a very small image that gets repeated over and over again until when you see all of these repeat images it still creates a bigger version of itself okay they're really really beautiful um and it's kind of like that is what's happening to you. So basically what your future self wants you to know is that um, whatever is occurring to you right now or the, whatever situation that you're currently in, it's a cause and effect of this pattern that you're playing with. This pattern you will have all experienced at least once before. And actually, if you really look into it and you kind of simplify and break down to what is the core energies or the core things that are occurring in this situation that you're currently at, like this dynamic, you'll realize that actually you have been exposed to this kind of thing over and over in your life. Sometimes it might have occurred in relationships, sometimes at work, sometimes with money, maybe for some of you, sometimes even with health. It's that kind of thing, right? When you really simplify the pattern and get to know like what are the core elements going off within it, you will recognize that you have been in these kind of scenarios over and over again um, for some of you I think already instantly as soon as I say this you'll know what it is anyway but what your future self wants you to know is that now you're in a situation where essentially and this is so freaking cool <laughs> you can paradigm shift into a completely different fractal pattern in your soul's history and also in your lifetime, as in as a human this time. 
what I mean by that is you can end this pattern for good and start a completely new cycle. Um, and like, what your future self is wanting you to know to do with this and how this works is that basically um, time from a psychic perspective works like a spiral and it's why we all go through similar types of situations over and over again but usually from a higher and a higher and higher level and perspective as you refine it and like, like say simplify the pattern simplify the pattern simplify the pattern until you see it so clearly that you can transcend that pattern and almost and this is the friggin amazing thing once you completely see the pattern for what it is in its most simpli um, simplified form, you can then take very different actions so that you're no longer part of that pattern anymore. And then this is the, the most pimping bit of all of it. Then literally you can paradigm shift into a completely different spiral, into a completely different fractal pattern within your own soul's history and within your history now as a human being. And I've just known as a psychic that say like from the end of 2012 when everybody talked about an energy shift that was in like, I don't know, the, I don't know, spiritual community or whatever you would call it. Um, this was the major shift that was occurring. Like it was the fact that time was changing in such a way that we could all become so much more conscious of who we are and what we are in many different lifetimes, but all to make like collected and condensed at this point in time. And with all of that ability and with all of that information, we could then make different choices to completely paradigm shift where we are currently are constantly at in our life. And that is what your future self really wants you to know about wherever you're currently at in the moment like this is like a super potent powerful point and actually <laughs> this is really cool and sweet your future self is super excited for you with where that you're currently at um but what your future self is saying is that essentially what you need to do is you have to get friggin practical about what this is and the only way to transcend this is, like I say, is you've got to simplify it until you understand it so completely, it becomes super clear about how to take very different action, which paradigm shifts you. And actually, your future self is saying that just by you knowing exactly what it is, and by already implementing those abilities or those ways of thinking and like perceiving life in your life now, you will mean that you already start to paradigm shift so that you never have to go through this kind of experience or situation again. Okay, which is awesome because I sometimes know as well as a psychic, sometimes people need to actually go into the same situation again to paradigm shift it by going through the experience again. Your future self is actually saying you have the ability to just paradigm shift now without having to go through another situation to do with it. But the only way you can do that is to completely understand it. And um, now my spirit guide is showing me this thing and I'll leave a link for you. It's some videos by Ray Dalio. He's like a... Um, I don't know, like a, um, a trader kind of person that owns something like Waterbridge something. I'm not really sure. But anyway, he is a really, really successful trader, owns a company, I think billionaire and all the rest of it. And he has done some things about principles. And you really need to look at these videos. It's like a 30 minute video split out over five in an animation. And it's really going to describe what it is that you need to do to transcend this pattern without going through the experience again. I'll leave a link for that below. Totally check it out if you feel called to. Um, but also what your future self is saying you need to do is you need to look at the situation, right? And you need to see how it's happened to you before. And like I say, if you get really clear on the energies, you'll really start to understand what that is. Then you need to write down a list of what are the errors that you have done previously to mean that you have still got yourself into the same situation or scenario again. Um, and it really is like it's working out that this isn't like a good or a bad or right or wrong thing. This is about unity consciousness. Your soul is, your future self and your soul are trying to get you to understand unity consciousness within this experience so that actually you have the ability to look at yourself so objectively that you can see places where effectively you've done say things wrong or non-ideal. But you're only looking at it in that way so that then you can find a solutions about how to do it completely and utterly different. And let me get some more cards on this. Your future self is saying as well that it's really important that you... Um, once you've made a, 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 like a list of all of these errors that have meant that you have recreated this certain type of situation again, you then need to go and speak to some people that you really trust, but this is a really important bit, that have a very, very different perspective than you, okay? Because that different perspective is almost going to be like um, um, stress testing to see if the errors that you've got are, are you haven't missed anything out, basically. Um, and then once you can see everything in that format, 
um, once you can see everything clearly in that format, uh, then you need to work out what the solutions are. So what you would do to make sure that you don't do those errors again, if that kind of makes sense. Um, and then, like I say, your future self is saying that by you already then implementing the solutions in your day-to-day -day life, because it's going to be something about how you how you interact with life, like some yeah, something like that, how you interact with life, um, then means that you'll already start activating this new pathway, which means that you won't ever go through this scenario again, and you will already be in the process of paradigm shifting, which is friggin' amazing. Um also getting as well like with this here I like simplify and the colors and like the shapes I actually feel that when you speak to whoever you speak to about this it's going to be an amazingly a nurturing experience for you like super emotionally supportive because um oh oh wow that's the right way up that's interesting um it's gonna be sorry this is just now pulling me off as well yeah, this is the thing. It's going to be super emotionally supportive with you, and it's going to mean that you are you open up to connecting with others in a way that you never have done before, and that you're able to hear things from others. Because I don't know if you can see this person here. They've got their hands over their ears, almost in despair. You're going to be able to hear different opinions and different perspectives without taking any of it personally and because you don't take any of it personally you're then able to um you've got way more information to make a much more well-informed decision and choice and that's also going to be something which massively elevates so many areas of your life over like a short and a long-term perspective um so this is a thing as well, whatever this repeat scenario is, like, you know, the devil card can often be seen as entrapment. For some reason, I really like this devil card. Um, it can often be seen, seen as an entrapment, but, you know, like, the devil's coming up as a teacher, actually, because, and it actually, with its, with his hand outstretched, it really is like, yeah, but this is your opportunity to see yourself in a completely... Um, a completely honest way that you haven't done before and by doing that you're going to really get something which completely allows you to transform and change who you are um let's just pull these over and see what we get so we have faith i think pal two got that as well birthing you see that's it you see you know, this, this new paradigm, this paradigm shift, you'll be creating something completely new for you in your life. Storm, I love that card. And this is the thing as well, you do have to generate quite a bit of energy to paradigm shift, but you will do that purely just by really looking into the situation, by really analysing it, by then bringing in other supportive people in to kind of like be a filter system too to analyse it with you, and then work out what you have to do to take very different action and make sure that you never go into that kind of scenario again. So then we have missing link, seeking karmic balance, and pushing the envelope. You know, pushing the envelope for me, again, is very much like birthing and creating something new. But this is the thing. You know, this missing link, um, you know, your future self is saying that this is very much where... And actually seeking karmic balance, to be honest. Both of these two things, particularly missing seek, um, the missing link, it's very much you will know when you've found like, this error system to do with what's been going off because you'll realise that actually it's quite a core trait within you. But the interesting thing is um, this trait within you is... Um, it's something which is also like a real positive. So in some situations, it creates amazing things for you. But then in other situations, it creates complete and utter chaos. It's kind of like that duality that often you see in people where something that they're incredible at in one situation then becomes in a complete Achilles heel in another situation. And actually, this seeking the karmic balance, it's you working out how to, like I said before, bring unity consciousness to whatever this characteristic is within you. So it no longer goes from like this dichotomy of like um 
really useful and then really chaotic or um, creating great stuff and then taking it away or feeling an amazing but then feeling really bad like it's something to do with that that is looking to harmonize it and um, but for you to be able to harmonize it first you have to be really clear and really see it for what it is that's why you really have to analyze the past scenarios that have come up similar to this and this is where you really need to write down the errors that you feel have been some things that you've done that have created this situation you do have to be really really honest to do with that and for some reason I do think that's like also pushing the envelope like you've really got to push your comfort zone to be able to really see this additional information okay about you you've really really got to and it reminds me of a mantra that my spirit guides um like gave me once and I do find it really really useful that for you to really do this incredible thing of completely paradigm shifting by not even having to go into the same experience again um, you are going to have to want to grow more than you want to be right okay that needs to be the mantra when you're looking into going into all of this stuff it's so important because that will allow you to push the envelope like go over your comfort zone and really see this kind of missing link which allows you to then um, balance up the karma to do with this quality within you now the other thing that your future self really wants you to know is that um whatever this um whatever this quality is um like I say, it is something which is also an amazing gift within you, um, but it's almost like it's so hypercharged, and you've almost had this sort of ability since you were really young, but it's always grown in a disproportionate way. Um, it, and it's something which therefore for some reason has also created a lot of intensity within your life at times and actually my guide is now saying let me explain what mine is to um one quality that I have which works in this way of like being amazing in some situations and then absolutely chaos in other situations so you'll kind of see what I mean so for me this is the thing that I am in many situations I have very little fear and I'm always prepared to risk take always prepared to risk take and in some ways I almost enjoy the thrill of the risk take now often this can be really great good because I'll have like really single-minded focus I know what I want and I'm doing it and that will happen I very much have that kind of thing and therefore I will do things that other people would think oh maybe that's a bit risky but my risk assessment has always just been can I handle worst case scenario if I can I do it okay but the problem is <laughs> put that together with the fact that usually on quite a lot of stuff I don't have a huge amount of fear this means that actually I have like no safety valve with many situations and so sometimes yes it creates incredible stuff in my life which would be like the positive thing and I get great self-belief and I have a lot of confidence because I even know if it doesn't work out I'll still I'll still be fine I'll find a way through but on the other side sometimes it means that oh my god I got so off piece but it's like I am a car going at a thousand miles an hour, smashing into a wall. I mean, it's like devastation. So it's like I've been having to work with this thing of like balancing this ability within me so that I can um, basically get that almost like this karmic balance within it. So it can just become something that is always super useful. Um, but by doing that, I've had to look at it in many different ways and refine it and look at the errors within it and work out what the solutions are. Um, and that's sort of what your future self is saying that you need to do about whatever situation that you're currently in to do with a pattern. Um, anyway, then we get the King of Swords. We have the Hermit. We have the King of Cups, oh, sorry, the Knight of Cups. Um, so let's just have a look here. Okay, so the one of the main additional things that your future self wants you to know, given on top of whatever all we've said, is actually this card here, the Knight of Cups. Um, and for some reason, I'm really, really drawn to the horse. And for me, like, horses have really got this thing about freedom and liberation. So once again, that just tells me that obviously there's this huge ability to paradigm shift. And shamans often use the skin of horses on their drums because they're able to, like, gallop into different dimensions and retrieve different information. Um, so I'm also wondering if for some of you, it might be quite good to maybe just go on YouTube and see one of the, like, you know, you can get drumming, I don't know, drumming meditations. And maybe that might help to give you some additional insight or even just 
clear your energy field enough so that you can do that thing we discussed about pushing the envelope, about going into an uncomfortable zone to do with you so you can see yourself in a new light, which will ultimately liberate you. Um, but I'm also seeing as well, for some reason, I'm really drawn to this envelope letter here. I really feel like you communicating with others about this is really, really important. But I'm also really feeling that it is really important that you write stuff down because you really, really, like I say, you've got to understand this pattern so well. And I think maybe somebody like Einstein said, but also I might get this wrong. But anyway, my guides are saying, say it, is um, you know when somebody really understands their topic because they can explain it to anybody. They can take out the jargon. They can just make it so simple that everybody understands it. And the reason why they can do that is because they understand it so well. That really is what you need to do to do with this. This is going to take a bit of effort, okay? But your future self is saying, like, that honestly, the gifts are like... It's like an Aladdin's cave of gifts if you take the time to do all of this because you really will jump into a completely different like spiral about things that you're working with. But more than that, it's like you're going to go up a computer game. But, you know, like um, with all the gifts and the abilities that you won from the games before. And then as soon as you go up into this new like game or level, you've got some additional gifts. So it's almost like there's like a real, um, oh, like a compound. And like I say, it's just... And really, all of your future selves are now like flashing in again. This video series by Ray Dalio. So I, I guess he might simplify this really well as well for you to really get it in another level. And it's also always great to hear it from somebody um, that's in a super successful situation and they've used this kind of thing in some way. So I'm really, really getting that. Um, and once again, you know, just the Knight of Cups and the Roses, it was kind of like what I was saying, like I felt to do with this anyway, that you doing this is actually, and particularly when you're sharing it with other people to get their perspective, I don't know, there's something about it that like the people that you include are going to feel like super appreciated. They're going to feel like you really respect them. And you're actually also just going to be doing something amazing for them. Like, you know, so it's not even just like, and that's probably also what's going to build a lot of the energy which allows you to paradigm shift. Because like I say, I've always known you do have to use a lot of energy or you have to create a lot of energy to paradigm shift in your life. It's often why the universe brings in very chaotic scenarios which allows somebody to transform because that energy is really, really useful. But actually by you really looking in on this, by you really going in on it and putting your energy in it, and then by you sharing it or bringing other people into this for asking for their perspective is also going to generate this amazing frequency within them where they feel like they really feel just so appreciated and um, it does something amazing for them too and potentially your relationship to do with them too. So whoever you choose, I remember you need to choose a number of people, whichever people you choose in this way, it's just going to also be doing something amazing for them and their own confidence and appreciation of themselves, but also to do with your connection with each other and I think it's this combination of things which allows all the energy to be generated and which is cool actually because then it's like a true collaboration as well um, <clears throat> and that's also why I do I do feel as a, on a psychic level even though it's not always something that I can access but I can really see on a psychic level how really involving other people in such a collaborative way allows incredible things to be built um, because obviously the truth is like I remember hearing this somewhere. Say if you've got an amazing idea, you can't be the Pied Piper of something that nobody else wants to follow. That's just like, you just nothing gets done. Like we really obviously have to be with each other to support each other because obviously ideas and all of this, but it does honestly build more energy to do with whatever it is that you're trying to do. And that energy allows you to break into other vistas within your own soul's history, your own pattern, your own reality, stuff like that. So... Whoa, I feel like that all came out like, like really, really quick. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. This is totally awesome. And like I say, really look into, I'll leave that link below. Um, and you know, also listen to the song that actually come out, that came out to do with uh, the messages for all your future selves. Because it's got this real like determined beat to it as well. Because you will need to have that. That real kind of like, no, I'm doing this. This is what I'm doing. Um, and then just remember that thing. Um, 
I want to grow more than I want to be right. That will do so much here. But anyway, now let's just choose um, a pair animal to support or to give you information about what's also going off. What I want you to do is, if you just, this is just going to take 30 seconds and it'll be worth it. Just close your eyes. And what you want to do is you want to visualize yourself somewhere out in nature, all alone. A beach, a meadow, a field, a forest, whatever you feel called to, a mountain. Then once you're there, I want you to visualize your favorite color all the way around you, almost like in your energy field. And then I want you to breathe that color in and all the way out, like breathing it into all of your cells and then breathing it out all into like the nature around you. And do that a number of times. And then what I want you to do is just call in your future self. You may see them, you may just feel them, you may hear them. It may look like you, it may look like something or someone else. It really doesn't matter, just trust it. And then when, then when you feel ready, open your eyes and then have a look at the card that comes out and see what your future self wants to tell you to do with everything else that's been discussed here and additional insight through this card. So, what do you get? You get Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. And it's number 32, so that makes a five. Cool, so I hope you found that useful. Um, I just also just want to say that there's like quite a lot of animals going off in a lot of your cars. Like here we've got birds, we've got a dragonfly, a bat and an owl. So I don't know if any of those will mean anything to some of you. And then also the horse. You know, I, I just think there's something about some of these animal spirits. And obviously I do know a bat is very much about rebirth. A crow is about going into different realities again. Um, a dragonfly, I don't know what that is, but that feels magical. And owls are very wise. And horses of freedom so there's like I mean once again just so much energy for you guys breaking into this new level of reality through completely changing your hardwire to do with them um, a really amazing but equally Achilles heel quality within you so you know what if you feel called to write down below what you, what this is because I'd just be really really interested like I say mine is definitely like risk taking and um, for better and for worse so yeah I wonder what yours is too but anyway hope you enjoyed that um, I'm also on Instagram on Abigail Grace 2311. I post loads of different psychic resources there, so check that out. I also have another YouTube channel, See It Like a Psychic. I post lots of other information so that you can tap into your psychic resources more and um, with lots of tips and tools etc i'm also on facebook and twitter and if you would like a reading with me or any digital products that are psychic based then check out my uh, etsy shop um, but other than that i mean this is just epic and remember your future self is so excited about the situation that you currently find yourself in um, <laughs> yeah it's awesome and I'm, I'm just seeing like a picture of like almost like uh, you know a theme park ride you're on a theme park ride movement at the moment and if you can find that playful excited thing within whatever's going off also that's going to help with this whole magic and generating energy to create this completely new reality but remember understand whatever's going on so well that you understand it in its most sim simplified form um, but anyway cool I'm going to let you go have a great one see you for more picky cards bye Hi guys, this is for everybody that picked number two. <clears throat> That's this, this card of what your future self wants to tell you. So, let's feel into it all, do a bit of channeling. <clears throat> what does your future self want you to know? Okay, the first words I'm getting is that it's already happening. It's all in process. It's all in motion. That any... Um, 
any feelings that you've been having to do with time frames for you are correct. So if you've been thinking something's going to happen at a certain point, it's correct. If you've been thinking you needed to just relax and back off right now, it's correct. Like it's going to be different for all of you, but whatever you have been feeling and thinking, you can totally and utterly trust that. Um, but that also your future self is saying it's really important that you also know when to either, um, when to activate your next move. It's really important that you know when to activate your next move. So if you haven't been aware of any time frames currently, just put it out into the universe that you would like to know. Do not force obviously getting the answer back. And whenever you get it, and ideally you'll get it when you're randomly doing something else, so you know you're not um, like fudging it in any way, then you can trust that time frame. Um, I'm just so drawn to this bit in here. It's interesting, the other pile also has something to do with the solar plexus, and so do you, but yours is very different to the other pile. Just give me a minute while I feel into it. I'm actually getting that your solar plexus is super powerful and potent right now, and it's actually the chakra that's really important for you to be consciously working with. Um, if you don't know much about chakras, just know that the things that's important for you to be working with is your confidence and your self-esteem and self-belief, but also while holding a bit of like humility and the appreciation that you are human and that all the different facets of being human are beautiful because then even if you're aware of some weaknesses within you currently you they won't that won't make you feel bad about yourself that won't change your self esteem or your self confidence because you just know that's all part of the experience of being human um whereas so many people when they become aware of their weaknesses or their insecurities if you're a psychic, you can actually see it like dampen their energy field and the solar plexus become, becomes darker because almost like they're taking it personally, whereas this really isn't a personal thing. Every single human being has strengths and weaknesses. And the more that you can honor and appreciate that concept, the more powerful it will build your solar plexus. And then I'm getting as well that um, you'll really be able to leverage yourself by by acknowledging your weaknesses and just working with them to turn them into strengths. And so I think there's something really important to do with that too. But I'm really getting like a really nice, balanced, harmonious energy for everybody that picked this. So like your future self, what I can tell you is your future self is totally in this space. Your future self is in a place of feeling incredibly confident, but they've also got great humility, so they don't appear egotistical in any way. Like they've got this really great way of like harmonizing opposites within, within them and leveraging that. And so that's something that you can really work on. Um, but let's just see what else we get. So what your future self wants you to know right now. Okay, interesting, interesting what I get is your future future self wants you to know that there is an illusion that's gone off, almost like a lie. For some of you, somebody has been lying to you. For others of you, it's just you have been lying to yourself. But whichever way it is, what your future self is saying is you just need to become aware of if somebody is lying to you about something, it might not be to do with you, it actually might be to do with them. In fact, I'm actually getting that. It's more like they're lying to you about themselves. Then all you have to do is work out where you are doing that to do with yourself. So where are you lying to do with yourself somewhere? And it lies sounds like really like intense, but obviously because your future self is like, no, 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 we're all good, we're all bad, like we have strengths, we have weaknesses, your future self is just like, look, the honest word is it is lie and it is illusion. So you just kind of work with that. But none of these things are negative. They're just able to give you more information and insight so that you can take the next best step forward by appreciating and um, and not getting triggered by that in any way, but just using it as information to help you move forward. And that's completely what I'm getting there. Actually, I've only just realised this, the gifted bit. Um, but quite a lot of you here, I think as well, like you really do have really strong intuitive insights. And it is about you trusting those. Um, for some reason, I feel like we have two of these. Yeah. 
Yeah, so like, and once again, your future self is like showing me a mirage. So you know, like in a desert, it's like showing me a mirage of like a, a beautiful oasis. But then obviously, the closer I get to the mirage, the more and more it fades away until it doesn't exist. There's something like that that's been going off that you just need to be aware of. And you know what? Yes, somebody is doing that outside of you, but you are categorically doing that to yourself somewhere. And it's really important you become aware of that mirage because then you'll have the insight about exactly what you need to do to move forward. Obviously, we'll get more on that too, so we can get very clear about what that is. Oh, I'm intrigued to know what this mirage is. Like that goes like that, that goes like that. Right, let's see what we get with all of this. So, confidence, you see, what did I say? Solar plexus and confidence. Right order. Fearless, you see, fearless again, the solar plexus because that bravery, that courage, or not so much the courage, but just like so much confidence and self belief that you are actually fearless. Okay, flexibility that flexibility as well is that was what your future self was trying to say about, um, you know, not seeing things as good and bad um, and not getting triggered by things like words like lies or whatever like that because you're just completely flexible with how you see the human experience and therefore because you're not getting triggered anywhere near as much you're able to use so much more information in your physical reality to make the next best steps to move forward that's really cool I really like that potential you see potential and gifted they to me are so so similar um so we have four of pentacles we have the tower card and striding that we have the king of wands and then here we have alienness Ooh, have a look at that if you can see it and alone time okay so just give me a minute while we put all this together you also feel into this as well Okay, so in see one of the messages that's coming through is um Number one, instantly the vibe I get is just, it's a really powerful time period for you right now. So it's really important that you leverage this the most that you can, um, just because your future self is saying that you're massively being supported by lots of other um, beings within other realms to do with where it is that you're heading. Because wherever it is that you're heading, it's not just important for you that you achieve that. It's also important for many other souls that you achieve that for whatever reason. Um, I'm also getting as well that your future self is saying that, you know, you need to see yourself as a leader. You need to see yourself as a leader and like a king or a queen, whichever word works best for you. Um, and that also, wait, just give me one second. It's really important that you're in a child consciousness. So what I mean by that is um, we all have different parts of our consciousness and it's the part that basically was created during childhood. It's just really important that that your inner child, the little kid with inside you, realises that you are no longer a prince or a princess. You are now a king and a queen. And it's really important that your inner child understands that so that it can allow you to operate from the full potential that you have, to have all the confidence that you have, to have the fearlessness and to really be accessing your gifts. So I don't know if in meditation you just need to quickly have a little chat with your inner child and just explain that concept because I also feel like your inner child in some way has been slightly protecting you. Um, it's been protecting you in whatever way because because it still sees you as either a prince or a princess it sees you as still vulnerable um and so for some reason it's protecting you from being aware of something and i'm wondering if it actually is this illusion it is this mirage just because it just thinks that it's not safe for you to know what it is where actually it's completely safe to know what it is you can totally handle this all it's going to do is build your confidence and your understanding about how physical reality works and it's really going to mean that you for some reason i see this as the king and the queen it's really going to mean that you can almost become 
access more of your adult qualities. Now that might sound weird if some of you are kind of, you know, like, I don't know, 30 plus, and you're thinking, yeah, but I am an adult. Yeah, but also we still have this inner child within us. And if that inner child isn't updated about the fact that, no, wait a minute, now we are this person. And so you don't need to protect us or you don't need to believe that, um, you don't need to believe some of the things that you've been brought up to believe. That kind of needs to get switched around a little bit so that you can access more of this super potent energy that you have. And also with the tower card here. I particularly love the interpretation of this tower card because of all the tower cards in tarot, it's like the most subtle um, and it's also the most regenerating I would say because it's almost like despite all of this chaos going here with the storm that squirrel is still totally still and just watching in awe and obviously the butterflies are kind of getting involved as well so it's something about um just one second it's coming through when you when you can see whatever this mirage is that you've been telling yourself it's going to massively liberate you in some way and it's going to help you create more strong foundations. But I am also feeling that, one second, because these three all have got a similar vibe to me. Let me just work out what they're saying. Really weirdly, I'm getting, I really don't know why, but I need to go with it. I'm getting that this mirage is more something you've told yourself about yourself, which isn't true. It's thinking that you're not something when actually you are something. And I think it's thinking that you are not something that you actually need to be to create whatever it is that you want. But that's just an illusion that you told yourself that you're not whatever this thing is that you need to create what it is that you want. And I actually think this is this thing, your inner child within you has almost been helping you cultivate the belief that you are not the qualities and characteristics of what you need to be successful in whatever it is you're wanting to create. And they're doing that purely as a place of trying to protect you. But you see that protection is kind of taking you to a place of like isolation. Um, and it's actually pushing you further away from the community that you need to be part of to help you fulfill whatever it is that you're wanting to fulfill and create. So that's actually what the mirage is. You see, the mirage has been a protection. So it's going to be different for all of you, right, exactly what that is. But the way you work out what it is, is whatever it is that you've been trying to create, might be anything in a relationship, a job, money, I don't know, highest potential of any kind, right? Whatever it is that you've been trying to create, your future self just really needs you to know that you have those qualities that you don't believe that you have. But the, those qualities are instrumental in getting you where you want to go. So part of you has just been telling yourself that you don't have them to keep yourself ultimately away from that goal and keep yourself protected and in the safe and known space, okay? But you absolutely do have those qualities. And it's just a mirage you've been telling yourself that you don't have them. But then also the vibe that I'm very much getting with this and what your future self is saying is that all of you guys that pick this, as like a soul group, you're very, very friggin' like powerful and potent. Like, you know what it is that you want, you do go after what it is that you want, and you do really believe in yourself. It's just that like this, this kind of... It's just that this is a little blind spot about how you have been almost deceiving yourself, which is ultimately keeping you away from what it is that you want. And also what your future self is saying is that if you were to talk to some of your close friends or family members about this, they would instantly be able to tell you what this is. They would know what this is. And I'm feeling this really, really strongly. I don't know why, I just want to pull one more card, I'm not even sure why, but I just want to. So let's just do one more, see if there's anything else, because I really do think that is the main message. But because we know there's a mirage that's gone off within this, I just want to make sure that a mirage is also not coming into this reading, because obviously we just have to uh, 
it's a good psychic hygiene, I suppose, is what I'm saying. So let's just see. Is there anything else that we need to know to do with this from the future self? Manifest. Instantly, this is making me think of butterflies, because I don't know if you can see the pattern here. And obviously the butterflies are really strongly in here. Um, I just think, you know what, no, we have got everything that you need to know. And now it's just about you, like, really transforming yourself and going with it. And you do have to... Once you understand what this mirage is about something that you don't, qualities that you don't think you have, or something that you don't think you can be, even though everybody else around you would be like, but you totally could and you totally can, and we see that in you. Once you understand what that is, you really need to start to maybe make a bit of a list about things that you could practically do on a day-to-day -day level, and then even on a bit of a bigger scale that would absolutely start... Um, uh, start you accessing those qualities that you don't think that you would have and let me just give you an example an example might be if you let's go with this if you ultimately know that you're here to be a leader or you really need to assert yourself way more but you just think oh my god i'm always unsure about what to do i always need to ask people for a question like what should i do i'm always constantly confused of what should i do and what should i not you might say that to other people and they might look at you and go yeah but the thing is i always come to you for advice you give great advice usually everything you tell me i actually i actually take action on and it works out so well for me what do you mean you can't do that because i literally come to you for that guidance so of course you can do it yourself it's something like that that's going on and like I say once you understand exactly what this mirage is that you've been telling yourself first of all I would in meditation chat to you and a child explain that you're no longer a prince or a princess and need to be protected you now are like a, a motherfucking king and queen and you can handle yourself and now you're going to access all of these potent powerful qualities within you first of all do that with your inner child then obviously um, work out the mirage, talk to other people about it and then once you know what it is you need to write down a list of things that you would do to start activating those qualities that have been hidden within you that you didn't think you had but you absolutely have and they're the things that's going to take you exactly where you want to go and you'll be highly successful when you start doing that and that is exactly what your future self wants you to know right now. So just give me one sec, let's, um, what I did with the other pile was if you can do this you just want to briefly shut your eyes and you want to visualize yourself out in nature somewhere all by yourself, okay? So whether this is a beach, a forest, a meadow, a lake, it can be anything. When you're there, you need to visualize your favorite color all the way around you. And you want to breathe that color in and breathe that color out. Then what I want you to do is I want you to call in your future self. It may look like you, it may look different. Just trust that's your future self. And then we're going to pull a card and you see what your future self has to tell you about this card. If you need to do this again in your own time, just you can do that. You can pause the video or do whatever you need to do. So what your future self additionally wants you to know on top of everything we've chatted. So we get, dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. so I hope you found that useful um, you can also find me on Instagram on Abigail Grace 2311 I post lots of stuff there I have another YouTube channel see it like a psychic so you can basically help tap into more of your psychic resources I definitely feel you guys have got really powerful psychic senses um, and I actually feel like a lot of your consciousness actually comes out of your solar plexus when I see individuals that have energy that comes out of their solar plexus consciousness wise I know that they're really tapped into kind of like to be honest an alien consciousness like you're very much tapped into like universal energy um, 
and yeah anyway just a little bit of thing there as well um anyway uh, you can also if you like a reading from me or digital psychic products you can have a look at my etsy shop um but other than that if you like this video please like please subscribe leave any comments below about anything and i will hopefully see you on another pick a card magic and also this is going to be awesome this is going to be awesome I can just tell because you really are that that king and queen and just as a little additional thing that's coming through right now from your inner child um, not your inner child wait no it is your inner child that's so cute sorry because I know this is your future self but your inner child is actually saying um that they know a really important person is going to come into your life once you are accessing that king and queen energy Oh, and I think your inner child's really excited about that, but a little bit nervous. So you might just want to chat to them in meditation just to reassure them. Anyway, cool. See you guys soon. Bye. So hi guys, this is for everybody that chose power number three. Is the message from your higher self. Um, and this card we got here is fairy magic. So let me just, let's just channel into what your future self wants to tell you. Um, instantly what I'm getting is that your, inner, your future self wants you to know that there's four different perspectives of what's currently going off for you and each of those four different perspectives is really important for you to become aware of because that will allow you to make the most wise choice going forward to do with whatever is currently going on. Um, your future self is saying that could be four different perspectives from four different people. It could be... Um, it could be any sort of resource that is in your external reality that's giving you some information about where you're currently at. So whether that is something on YouTube, if it's a book you're reading, if it is even um, a reflection you're seeing of yourself in somebody else, it could be anything, okay? But there's four different perspectives about what's going on and they each hold um, important insight for you to put yourself in the best position to be moving forward. That's what I'm getting, really quite, quite strongly. Um, I'm also really getting your future self is saying that actually you're in a really great stable position, whether you realize it or not. Some of you will realize it, others of you will think, how the hell am I in a stable position? But actually you are, um, and it's just a timing thing. It's a timing thing. Um, But whatever it is that you're working to create, once you've got these four different perspectives of where you're at, it will slightly change the direction that you're heading in, but it's going to accelerate how fast you get to where you want to go to. Um, I'm also getting that it's really important that you're aware of people or situations that you're currently involved in which are draining your energy. And that's really, really important. And I'm also getting, if any of you are in kind of like um, a complex situation, which is creating drama of some sort, it's useful if you don't have that drama going off right now. But obviously all of these things are a choice and you just want to, you just, it's your choice what you decide to do. But this is just what your future self is giving you advice on. Um, and saying that actually you're in a really good position to create even more stability. But if you do kind of let these outside dramas into your life, it's going to suck up some of this energy that you've got where you could be making really strong foundations of where you want to go towards. But instead, some of that really good energy is getting almost like sucked into the drama of whatever is going off around you. So it's really important you just have a little bit of a think about that. Um, and I'm also getting that if you're really, really honest with yourself, if you're really honest with yourself, deep in your heart, you know exactly what this is and you've known for a while but you've been trying to convince yourself that it's okay. And many of you have been doing it for loads of different reasons, but you just have to trust that if you do let go of that drama, that energy will go into your creations and it's also gonna bring some other great experiences into your physical reality, like people and situations, which will not drain your energy, which will enhance your energy. That's what I'm really, really getting. Okay. 
and I'm getting as well that actually there is there's already there is already people and situations in your reality that would be very um oh that would really help you enhance where it is that you want to go and they'd be really supportive and they'd be really like um they just really enhance your life but currently quite a few of you are putting your energy on more of the people and situations which are kind of doing the opposite where they're complicated where they don't really have clarity necessarily or where they're involved in their own drama on some level some of them you might not even realize what this drama is but if you feel into your heart you'll just know that this is a soul which is actually um draining some of your energy currently okay and there's no worries if you carry on with that because we all do it at times and we all have choices it's just just whatever you want to do but that's what your future self is saying currently <clears throat> it's really interesting because all three powers have been very different oh, often they are but still anyway let's see what else wants to come out for some reason i feel like these cards want to come out rapid so i just feel like there's something really important that your future self wants you to be aware of um and like I say, there's four different perspectives of what is going on will really, really help you understand what this is. Even though I do think a lot of you, deep down inside in your heart, you do already know what it is that I've been saying, uh, what your, energy, you know, your future self has been channeling. Let's see. I like for some reason, this goes here, here, this goes here. So let's have a look. <clears throat> so what else does your future self want you to know? Manifest. Interestingly, pal two also got that. Gifted. Hey, wait, pal two also got that. Maybe there's also something within pal two as well for you guys. Spiritual commitment. Unfinished business. Yeah, you see, you know this unfinished business. This is what I'm feeling about whatever drama you're currently being involved in with somebody else in another situation outside of you. Um, it's unfinished business because I kind of think you're aware that this is a repeat cycle. That this is a repeat cycle of in your life in some way. And you're way more aware of everything this time around. But you still feel a bit unconfident to make a different choice and take a different action this time. Um, And it's almost like, you know, say if this is the drama, if this here, what that person's carrying is the drama of the other persons or the other situation that you're in, it's kind of like you're looking at it and you're aware of it, but you just don't quite have like the confidence to just kind of just like push it outside of your energy field. Like let it go, basically. Let it go and focus on what it is that is really important to you. Um, anyway, let's just see here taking risks I mean to be honest once again this is the thing because you kind of feel like because you have never actually really been honest with you you've never really been as honest as what you're now being with yourself to do with whatever this situation is you're seeing everything in a bit of a new light and that's also a bit scary because you're kind of aware you do need to do something different but to do something different means you don't know what the outcome would be because you've never really done it that way before and that's why it feels like taking a risk but you see with this almost like eagle here the eagle is super wise in shamanic stuff the eagle sees things from a higher perspective it sees them from like the complete picture if you can tap in to your own heart and be really honest with yourself your heart is the eagle and it does see the bigger picture the bigger perspective and it is okay about doing something very differently even if that means letting go of certain people or situations in your life to then trust that other people and situations will come into your life um, and they will be more in alignment with you and your highest potential but it's just kind of trusting that process because actually I've never noticed this before sorry because it's pulling me in I don't know how well you can see these cards here, but obviously this person's here and they're holding something. This person here is kind of like, it reminds me of like they're on the outside of their energy field, whereas this person's smacking the side of their energy field. And this person is not holding on to whatever this is with this person in it. They're aware of it, but they're staying more connected to their own soul than they are to whatever is going on here. And that's the spiritual commitment to yourself. And it's also got here, that's the future. Whereas the present card we've got here is unfinished business. This person's completely in their energy field. And obviously their energy field looks a lot more dark and cloggy than this one here. 
Um, it looks like there's lots of stuff going out of their head. So like they're really overthinking in some kind of way. And they're holding on, holding on to this thing and looking at it almost like they daren't let go of it. Whereas actually the way that your soul will grow best is to go from this present to this future. Something really important to do with what's going on there. And do remember that um, these, four pe these four different perspectives will really help you understand this better. Right, let's just see. <clears throat> Fearless. Oh my God. Literally, all of those three cards came out in pile two. Definitely have a look at pile two. I think there'd definitely be something in there. And that was crossed over by the Hierophant. Then we have here Gateway. Then we have here the Chariot and the World. <laughs> Number one had the World. But anyway, I think pile two really might resonate with you guys. Probably all of them have got a little bit of something, to be honest. Right, so just give me a little moment just to fit the channel in from your future self. Although, to be honest, you know what, my future self is just like, I mean, I've said what you need to say. Like, the, you know, everybody just needs to look at whoever these people are, situations in their life, which are not really in alignment with their highest potential, and almost have, um, be able to take a risk and be fearless about the best way to move forward for your soul's growth. Because if you move forward in the best way for your soul's growth and do what deep down inside you've already been feeling for a while, it's going to open up completely new doorways, like a unicorn gateway. You'll have so much energy. And I feel like as well, this is like, you'll have all your energy back again. You'll have all your energy, all your vitality back, and you'll really be able to get on with creating more of what you've wanting to create. I'm really, really thinking, feeling that. And I'm also getting that a bit like power one, um, you know, when you finish, when you change how you're going about whatever the situation is, whoop, you will, um, start you will end a karmic cycle and send, begin a very new karmic cycle with yourself one which is um more in alignment with your highest potential but i mean all of this really is a choice about how to move forward and it is up to you um but also like pile two who also had this card here gifted i do also feel that um you know you can trust your intuitive interest trust your intuition to do with whatever is going off with this situation with this person whatever it might be because your intuition is giving you super important advice but then also your intuition will get backed up by some of these four different perspectives that you look into so it's almost like you can stress test your intuitive insight through the perspectives that you hear from outside of you because I'm getting that almost all of them will match up with your intuitive insight. Or at least if you ch share your intuitive insight with these four different perspectives, they will all agree with your intuitive insight. They'll all agree with your intuitive insight. But your future self is saying, like, you know what, the higher front here, I, f and, I mean, all of this here tells me this is a really... I mean, part one had, like, a big karmic cycle closing, but yours really is, like epically big epically big and i do have the strong feeling that it is almost to do with a relating kind of um cycle so something to do with how you do relationships or connections or something like that but i do also feel that it's really also um once you resolve this it's going to give you massive leverage with kind of like moving forward with your highest potential or moving forward with the thing that's going to bring you the most amount of joy and happiness um, and I do really feel like your future self is saying you do know this deep down inside and you have known this for a little while um, but the thing is it's totally your core what you do it's totally your core what you do because and often is the way I know my spirit guides have often told me this that when it comes to um, sometimes as a psychic I'll know things about people but my spirit guides will also be like you're not to say anything because actually this is for that soul to come to the realizations themselves and then if they do want to come to you at some point and talk about it you can then talk about it with them if they ask but um 
this is for that individual. It's that individual's free will choice about what they decide to do because it is an important like flagpole moment in their soul's history and therefore it's not for you to get involved or get entangled with it. And that's something about what's going off with here. Like it really is up to you. It's totally up to you what you decide to do. And also, you know, there is no right and there is no wrong. But there is cause and effect, okay? So nothing is right and nothing is wrong. No matter what you decide, it won't be right or wrong. But it is cause and effect. So it will create different experiences in your life depending on what you choose. Um, but also, whatever you choose, you can also be flexible. You can change. Like, most things are not fixed, okay? Um, but I do think just trust what you've been feeling deep down inside for a while. Really, really trust your intuition on whatever this is. And, um, you know, it is really about... Be, you know, being fearless and almost, I know it feels like a risk. I know it will feel like a risk. But I think from a lot of the outside's perspectives is people will just think, oh no, but this is important because it's going to create a new you. And I think there'll be a few people in your life that will have been aware that you will have been draining your energy through whatever this drama might have been. So that is totally what I'm getting there. Now, what I want you to do is I'm just going to pull out another wild card, okay, for you guys to interpret about what your future self wants to say. Like I did with the other piles, just like I want to just take you on a really quick little shamanic space, like a um, journey type thing, just to get you in the energy. All you need to do is just close your eyes. This will take like a minute. Close your eyes, not even that. Imagine yourself in nature somewhere completely alone. So it could be a forest, a beach, a lake a meadow, desert, whatever feels right to you, visualise yourself there, then visualise your favourite colour all the way around you and just take a few deep breaths in and all the way out, breathing in that colour and breathing out that colour. Then when you're ready, you just want to call in your future self. Your future self may look like you, it may look like something else, just trust it's your future self. And then when we pull this card, see what you're, you'll have to open your eyes again. And when we pull this card, ask your future self what it wants to tell you about this. You can obviously do this in your own time too, or you can pause the video. Let's see, what does your future self also want you to know about this? Okay. Dove spirit, be peace. So just trust whatever you get and obviously you can use that anytime that you want. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, you can find me on Instagram on abigailgrace2311, post lots of stuff there. Um, also I have another YouTube channel, see it like a psychic, post loads of psychic things there. And you can have a reading from me on Etsy if you would like. Um, but other than that, please like, subscribe and share if you like this video. Comment if there's any specific videos you'd like me to do. And I just want to say really, really trust yourself and your heart because you know deep down inside uh, what it is. What it is your soul really wants you to do right now, put it that way. But other than that, look forward to seeing you soon for some more Pick Card Magic. Bye!